Hey, what's going on everybody? Full Frontage here today bringing y'all a Clash Mini video and in today's video I'm gonna go over what I think is one of the better decks inside of Clash Mini right now and this deck is also extremely versatile. I find the most success with this deck with Shield Maiden, Wave Master, and Monk. So we're gonna go through playing each of those and I'm gonna talk about the different priorities for upgrading. But let's hop into this first match. It features the Magic Archer, the Archer, the Golden Giant, the Bowler, and the Mini P.E.K.K.A depending on the hero that you play against we're going to talk about the different upgrades uh at each hero whether it's a shield maiden whether it's a monk that's playing with this deck or whether it's the wave master playing with this deck so wave master is not completely dead uh just yet but i'm actually gonna go with that because we are going up against monks so talking about i just unplugged my headset talking about um the different priorities in upgrading when you're playing against any hero outside of a royal champion or an archer queen oh the peacemaker is going to go right onto my shield man that was rough uh we actually oh no the peacemaker comes through dang um so whether you're playing against the archer queen or the royal champion you want to prioritize upgrading your mini pekka if you are playing against any other hero mini pekka is the upgrade priority but the first thing we want to do is get all your minis on the board so by round three your mini pekka should be level one with the dissipate so select that two star ability or if you're playing against a world champion or an archer queen then your upgrade priority should be for the golden giant get that golden giant up to level one that'll be super helpful for you and I think we're gonna end up losing this round as well. Yeah, that archer, the archer is putting in work on us. It really didn't help that he had the bowler uh, take us in that first part. So let's grab, we're gonna go with the shield main right here. We're gonna go with the mini P.E.K.K.A. upgrade. And then I wanna grab this bowler. So we're gonna get this bowler onto the field. Um, And let's go like this. So round three, this is what your field should pretty much look like. But we did get some good damage right there. We are going to be able to get the pierce onto the monk. So the monk goes down. Archer will follow shortly. And yeah, we're on track to make a comeback in this match. So mini P.E.K.K.A. upgraded to level with that dissipate ability. If you're not going up against a royal champion or an archer queen if you are going up against a royal champion or an archer queen you want to upgrade that golden giant instead next up what we want to do is because he has uh two units that are pretty much all the way toward the back we i want the magic archer uh, i didn't get it in time i wanted to get that magic archer with dissipate and we were not able to but uh, if your opponent only has one ranged unit from the back, it's okay. We're still going to win uh, because we have the Dissipate Mini P.E.K.K.A. coming through. Even with the Pierce. Yeah, we're looking good. Um, what was I saying? Oh, the Archer. So if, you ha if there are two ranged units, for example, in this matchup, we're going up against an Archer and a Magic Archer. Then you want to put the upgrade for the Archer to shoot two units. Uh, we're going to go for the Damage Arrow. And then I'm also going to go for the Clash Speed Increase. And... I think we're just going to shift this over. Oh, he placed that. Oh, that's okay, though. Our Archer's putting work on the backside. Dissipate's going through onto the Monk. So our, world, so our Shield Maiden's going to stay alive. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um... If they don't have two range units in the back, they really only have one range unit that you want to focus on, depending on their placement, it's okay to upgrade to the Clash ability on the Archer first, instead of upgrading to the uh, the double shot. So we're going to play against that same person again, coincidentally enough, but this time we're using the Wave Master. Um, so the dragouts are a little bit different in terms of order of prioritization. When you're going up against any hero, again, besides a uh, world champion or archer queen, the immediate 
priority is going to be for the mini P.E.K.K.A. to get the Dissipate. You want mini P.E.K.K.A. to get Dissipate as quickly as possible. And in this situation, um, it'll help you with the Wave Master. Because the Wave Master is uh, more of like an assassin type based unit. So, it's, it's pretty rough. It's pretty rough. Um, but yeah. So, priority for Wave Master, Mini P.E.K.K.A. at level 2 uh, in the second round. And then, ideally, you have the Bowler in here as well, which we do get, which is amazing. So, this should be your round 2 setup, where I don't think he's going to launch the Monk again. If he does, that would be interesting. He doesn't, okay. So, that's what I thought. So, this mini P.E.K.K.A. is going to go straight for the Bowler, which is not ideal, but we actually do take the uh, Golden Giant down. Mini P.E.K.K.A. get the turn. Nice. The Dissipate's going to be coming through. Mini P.E.K.K.A. is stunned for a little bit. The Bowler not able to get a shot off before it goes down. We do have the Tidal Wave coming out, and I think the Monk is going to be able to Peacemaker us away. He does. Okay. So we want the Magic Archer on this far side. We want the Bowler all the way to the back. We want the Wave Master right here. And then I want the Archer. Wow, we got no Archer. That actually might cost us to lose this. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm not 100% confident either. Peacemaker gonna be coming through. Our Wave Master goes down. Yeah, we're not gonna win. The Wave Master went down too early. We didn't get an Archer at all. If we had the Archer, we would I would have put it on the left hand side, and we would have been able to take out that Magic Archer. Um, so that was just unfortunate rolls in that situation. So we're gonna try again. Um, this will be a little bit of a longer video, so I do apologize. Um, I'll just label this as Wave. Wave Master 1 and Wave Master 2, but we are going up against a Wave Master of our own. So again, we're going to be working on those upgrades. I'm actually going to launch the Wave Master to the other side of the map and see how he handles this. But um, so again, round three, you want to have all your units on the board. It was unfortunate that we weren't able to get the Archer there, and I think that kind of just threw things off for us. Oh, he was able to get the Wave Master before. Four. Oh, we got the uh, Wave Master Tidal Wave off before the Golden Giant could get the hit in there. So this is going to be looking really good. We're going to be able to take this Musketeer out of the equation. We get the crit from the Mini P.E.K.K.A. And we should have enough time and health to take that one down. So really, really awesome right there. Um, let's see. The other thing with Wave Master specifically, you could put Golden Giant instead of the... Uh, let me just do this in case we get bad rerolls again. Um, we're going to do this. And I think I'm just going to leave it like that. I kind of struggled, uh, delayed a little bit. Wave Master does get the Dissipate onto the Mini P.E.K.K.A. Or the Mini P.E.K.K.A. gets Dissipate onto the Wave Master, I should say. And this is going to be... Very nice, very clutch. We kind of just steamroll everything right there, but he has so many units left that it's really not even going to matter too much. Yeah, so we lose that round. Uh, let's see, we definitely want to grab the Magic Archer here and then the Bowler as well. Grab the bowler, perfect. Okay. So this is the ideal setup that you want for round three. Mini Pekka level one. Oh, he pulls the bowler in. So he's rocking the fisherman. Fisherman has seen some usage, which is good that it's not like completely dead. Oh, the tidal wave's gonna be coming through. We take that knight out of the equation. Mini Pekka's gonna get taken down as well. This is really clutch. Wave Master dodges. The tidal wave from his wave master 
and this should be an easy win for us and then plus also when you have the uh, magic archer when it gets its dissipate as well that is extremely helpful because then you have the mini pekka with dissipate and then you have the magic archer with dissipate which is really really solid so this is the situation where again he only has one range unit everything else is kind of as is so we're going to go for the clash ability first here and i think what i want to do as weird as this is i'm going to put the magic archer and archer on the second row and he doesn't pull anything we do get the bowler off mini pekkas are going to aggro each other we do have the focus onto the knight which is not the most ideal but we are going to tidal wave back and now we have the dissipate lining up onto the musketeer and the uh wave master and that's going to be a quick and easy win with this wave master deck so in that in that uh first game with the wave master we just kind of got unfortunate with rolls and i wasn't doing I, I was explaining things and wasn't focusing on my placement as much but as we changed into it and were able to focus a little bit more on our play then that definitely helps so now we're going with the monk and we're going to kick things off with let's see do i want to go let's re-roll and see what we get here yeah i think we'll just i think we'll just do this for now i i didn't have enough time but i think i probably would have rathered gotten the um bowler and the the bowler and the uh golden giant for that peacemaker nice i said i would have rather that but hey maybe that worked out for the better the wave master also went to uh the archer so now let's We want to focus like this maybe his wave master will be on the right hand side and again when you're playing against wave master you nice we were able to take that down that was beautiful all oh, the double pierce is just looking so so mighty fine archer gets the focus we have double magic archer coming through this is beautiful when you're playing against wave master you want to put whatever range unit you have um, preferably a squishy one, whether it's Spear Goblin, whether it's uh, Archer. You want to have it in that, like, opposite corner. Um, I think what I'm actually going to do here is throw the bowler here. So this way, if he uses the... He does have two ranged units. So I want to go with the Archer upgrade here, especially when we're cloning it. Oh, he pulled it in! He had the dirty fisherman combo. We peacemaker the fisherman out of the way the stun coming from the golden giant uh come on get the peacemaker off nice oh the heel went wait why did the heel go on to the wave master the musketeer was right there what i'm confused did I, does the healing ranger target the closest? We're gonna get dissipate onto the magic archer. All right, he pulled in. He pulled in everything besides our range units, which is perfectly fine. That's exactly what we wanted to have happen. Did I miss something? Let me know if I missed something down in the comment section below with that healing ranger. I thought it targeted the closest. No? Did they change that with the, um... With the balances? Minis. Targeting the closest ally. Huh. I don't, maybe I missed something in the... In that match. That's weird. 
I don't know. Anyways, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you try this deck, let me know what you think of it down in the comment section below. I really like that it's pretty versatile with these three specific heroes. I personally like it better with the Shield Maiden, but that's just my opinion. It also works really well with the Monk. But if you have any other decks you would like me to try out, and if they're really good, I'll feature them in a video. Let me know down in the comment section below. But that is going to do it. I hope you all enjoyed. Hope this guide was helpful to you. And hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any more videos. And I'll talk to you all in the next one. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you later. Peace out.